Hey guys, so today I'm very excited because I'm going to show you how you can make this really cool collage case. It is very inexpensive to make and the result is so cool. And I'm also going to show you how you can personalize your phone charger with the same technique. So I hope you like it and let's get started. For the phone case you are going to need a canvas phone case, I got mine at Dollar Tree, scissors and door exacto knife, mod patch and a paintbrush, cotton pads or cotton balls and a nail polish remover, your design printed on sticker paper or normal paper, and if you want my design, it will be available to download in the description, but you can also do your very own or search for one on Tumblr or on Google. Start by taking the sheet of paper where you printed your design and cut roughly around the phone case, cut with X's from every side of the case. Now, take the phone case and your nail polish remover and with a cotton ball or a cotton pad, clean the whole case. This will get rid of the shiny coat on the case and it will help the design adhere better on the phone case. Now, take your design and start removing the backing paper if you printed it on sticker paper. If you printed it on normal paper, you can coat the back of the paper with Mod Podge. Then stick it on the phone case and make sure there's no air bubbles. In every corner, you're going to make slits to help you tuck the remains of the paper inside the case. And if you think there's a lot of excess paper, you can trim it away. You're going to tuck the remaining like so and all the straight edges. It gets a little difficult once you get to the curved edges. All you have to do is make a few slits rather than just one on the edges to help you stick the remaining inside. Just take your time with this step and repeat for all four corners. For the camera hole, make a cross or a X to tuck the remaining inside. You can do this with an exacto knife or scissors. Once you did this, you are almost done. Now you can check if the case fits perfectly on the case. If so, we are almost done. The only step left to do is cover the whole case with Mod Podge. Make sure you do an even coat and let it dry between coats. I gave my case three coats, but you can do more if you prefer. Also, do a coat on the remainings we tuck in the inside, but only do this once. This is going to seal the edges. If you want to make your case more resistant, you can spray the back of the case with clear spray paint, but the Mod Podge does a very decent work. Once your last coat of Mod Podge is dry, you're finished! Now you have this awesome new case, it looks super cool and you can do your very own design or this one because I mean, I'm a Levatic and you might be a Levatic too, so, okay. <laughs> okay, now to make the personalized charger, you'll need a ruler, a pen or a pencil, paintbrush, scissors, Mod Podge, nail polish remover or rubbing alcohol, cotton pads or cotton balls, and your printed design. Okay, let's get started. Start by measuring the charger and the ends of your cable, but if you have an iPhone charger, I got you covered. For the charger, it has a height of 2.8 centimeters and a width of 10 centimeters. The end that goes in the charger has a height of 1.3 centimeters and a width of 4 centimeters. And the other end has a height of 1.2 centimeters and a width of 3 centimeters. All the measurements already have overlap allowance. Now you need to trace and cut these measurements from your design. Now take your rubbing alcohol or nail polish remover and clean the charger and both ends of the cable. Now take your pieces and remove the backing paper if you printed them on sticker paper. If you printed them on normal paper, you can coat the back of the paper with Mod Podge, then stick it onto the chargers and the ends of the cables and make sure there are no air bubbles. And finally, cover the charger and the ends of the cable with Mod Podge and let them dry on a protected area. And if you want to give it more coats than one, let it dry completely before each coat. However, this step is optional. If you just want to decorate it temporarily, don't apply the Mod Podge. But if you want it to be permanent, go ahead and do this step. And that's it guys, I hope you liked this video, if you like it don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, thank you so much for checking this video, it means so 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 much to me. You can also follow me on all my social medias that are listed down below in the description, and if you recreate any of my DIYs, you can send me a picture there. 
Remember that if you want my design, the link is on the description below. That's everything. See you in the next video, guys. Bye-bye.